Hey everyone, I have here a Lego Technic model and this is a pullback monster truck based on maximum destruction. And by pullback, I mean you pull it back and then you let it go and it goes on its own. And it'll go pretty far. Let's take a closer look at this. Bumper to bumper, this is about 7 inches or around 18 centimeters long and that does not include the flag that hangs off the back. So if I put a minifigure in the frame, you can see it's actually not too far off from proper minifig scale, maybe a little bit too big for it, maybe a little bit too wide, but you know, close enough. But the, the overall size is fairly modest. This does rely on some pretty massive, pretty heavy sticker application for its decorations. And there isn't anything that's major on here that is, uh, that's printed. It does use just a handful of system pieces specifically to get the lights here on the front and the back. You also have these horn pieces, the barbs that are intended to represent the, the spikes that are all over the real Max D machines. Unfortunately, these are not uh, stuck in place. They're, they're, they're just on the one and a half pins or, or half pins that are able to rotate freely with no friction. So if you mess with this for a little while, or even if you're not careful during the initial building process, they will be angled all wrong and it'll look kind of funky. The motor is direct drive. So you've got the, the wind up motor right there and you know how these work traditional style. And because it's direct drive to some fairly large tires, this will get some nice speed and it will go quite a distance. I mean, you can go through multiple rooms with this if you, if you have the space. The flag just kind of flops around. However, it's intended to do that. So if it goes over any bumps or anything, it'll do that. Uh, these are, once again, stickers, stickers on both sides. And there is no other mechanism to this. So there's no working suspension. You can't set a steering angle for it to go around in a, a large loop like formation can't open doors or anything you know it's it's just built with technic parts and its only function is to go there is also an alternate model i'll show you that on the on the box but i did want to point out that the build process for this the build experience really was nothing like what i expected i i picked this up because i've liked monster trucks in real life a number of times in 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 my lifetime you know and I thought that it would be cool to just quickly put this together and then have like a little little Technic monster truck, you know, modest size, wouldn't take too long to put together. Most of the build steps of this were annoying to me. <laughs> I thought it was going to be cool. It actually wasn't. A lot of it involved uh, putting a whole lot of pins together, pins and axle pins and things with, with pin connectors built in and then lining them up and having, having multiple pins that have to go between multiple lift arms at the same time and those are always kind of a pain because you have to get it just right and then if the pins aren't lined up the way that is optimal for a connection then you have to struggle back and forth there was just a lot of struggle it was not fun putting this together it was it was the opposite of what i expected i thought it was just gonna be a fun quick little thing it didn't take me that long to do it but it just wasn't that enjoyable and ultimately i mean the end result looks i think pretty good for the number of pieces and type of pieces used here I think this is a pretty proper Max D. Uh, you know, more detail for like it's a representation of, of an engine under there or something would have been nice, but I think I think this is fine, but it just wasn't that fun. And now that it's done, again, all it does is just go. It doesn't even accelerate enough to, to pull a wheelie on its own, unfortunately. Instructions for the alternate model, this quad ATV, are not included in the box. You can download them online. I'm perfectly fine with that. And that alternate model looks pretty good and it does use quite a lot of the pieces. So yeah, if, if you like that, I think that you get a good extra value from this. Of course, you have to take pretty much everything apart to swap to that. You know, it's not a simple process, but it's, it's a very worthy secondary possibility, I'd say. These are the leftover pieces with this being a flexible hollow tube piece that was also used for the flagpole on the back. And then here's the sticker sheet. That's why I had to be zoomed out so much here. It's pretty massive for such a small set with so few pieces. And you know, some of these are, are big and you should take your time to line these up decently well. Otherwise it might be noticeable. Now I paid $20 US for this, which feels like an okay price, not a great price, but an okay price for that number of pieces, especially in Technic form. Although again, many of them were just pins and axle pins. Um, but I do wish that there was a little bit more substance here, a little bit more that you could do with this, a little bit more 
There's just one more mechanism, even just the ability to, to pop the body up and to see a small suggestion of a seat and a steering wheel and maybe just a little bit of engine detail. I think just those things would have made this, would have made this feel okay. As a matter of fact, if there was even one other function where if I could just set the, the steering angle to just a, a, a static angle before, before, you know, loading up the, the, the motor back there and letting it go. So maybe it could actually, you know, not just go straight away from me. I would have been willing to put another $5 into it. You know, just a little more detail and then one, one function, or if, this was just able to pull a wheelie on its own when I let it go with the, the arrangement with the center of gravity and you know if it needs to be geared differently to pull that off to get more acceleration. Because I feel like it, it has enough traction with these tires for the weight here, but it's just not balanced in a way that will allow that to happen. So if it could pull a wheelie off the line, I'd be willing to, to say this is a perfectly good price. Overall, not a particularly fun experience for me. I would say a little bit disappointing. Maybe I had my hopes just a little bit high, but I don't think I did. You know, I just wanted some cool Technic stuff and a fun monster truck. And it this just isn't that fun to put together. And then once it's done, it's not that fun to use. And I think it looks pretty decent from many angles. Just don't look at it directly from the side where you're looking all through it and it's completely hollow. So. I'd say if you like the look of this, try to find it on discount if you can. Use a coupon, something like that, you know. Uh, I don't expect this to sell particularly quickly or well. So discounts may be a good possibility in the not too distant future. Those are my thoughts on this. I have the build video up, so if you wanna check out the entire build uh, process in real time to check it out, you know, see for yourself what that's like, you can do so, or you can just see the speed build to go through it quickly. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.